Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, long time no see. I have not uploaded many videos in the past month or so. I was just enjoying time with my family, taking a little break. I think I got burnt out in November with just so many sales and so many new launches, the Sephora sale. So I was feeling a little bit down in December. This happens to me every year when the time changes, the darkness and just lack of sunlight affects me. So I've been doing everything I can to get my mood up and back to normal and I think now that the holidays are over as well things are calming down. I have uh, parents that are divorced so that mixed with my husband's family each time there's a holiday we have three events and my husband's family lives out of town so there's driving involved. We just had a blizzard. I know a lot of states were hit by this blizzard and just the actual temperature dropping. It was absolutely freezing. The wind was crazy, snow drifting. But I hope you guys had a good Christmas if you celebrate nonetheless and just a happy holiday overall But I'm excited to start a fresh new year I know it's not the new year yet But all of these new releases really have got me excited and I had sort of this epiphany when I was taking time off I just wasn't feeling good overall, but I was like there's nothing really sparking my interest It's interesting because I started my channel years ago as a tutorial based channel then I moved into like first impressions and reviews and I feel like that's really where I shine and what I enjoy. Of course, I don't mind doing tutorials, but I kind of do them when I do my first impressions anyways. So I think that the lack of new releases kind of made me feel like there was no spark there for me. I just love reviewing the new products. I love seeing other people review the new products. Personally, that's what I tend to watch. I just like seeing other people's opinions and their first reaction on new releases and then I sort of compare it to my thoughts so I don't know there's something about it that really just makes me happy and I think what I'm really good at is giving recommendations comparing products and telling you the texture the smell the wear all of that so I think maybe just the lull in December added in with the time change and family events for the holidays I was just not feeling very into the makeup scene but I have to say I purchased a ton of new products recently. They're dropping left and right. Ton of drugstore products as well, so hopefully that'll get me more excited to just get back into it and review makeup for you guys. So today, I don't know why I did that long intro. I usually don't do that, but I haven't been here for a while. We're gonna be doing a first impression and wear test on the new Makeup by Mario foundation. This is the Surreal Skin Foundation. It dropped yesterday, so I got my hand on it and I want to do a first impression apply it let you know how it wears throughout the day I might upload this video later today I'm getting a little bit of a later start it's about nine o'clock so we'll see but as always if you're new here I hope you stick around and subscribe I will link everything down below the foundation and then everything else I end up wearing in this video if you enjoy first impression videos or foundation reviews give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it So before we get into the demo, let's talk about the claims, the price, and all of the information. So this is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Liquid Foundation. This retails for $42. There are 30 shades to choose from, and they describe this as a natural finish, hydrating, medium coverage, and long wearing. It says a breathable, luminous foundation that effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable, long wearing coverage. It does also say this formula works with powders or creams while staying true to its original color. So I had a hard time finding my shade or choosing my shade. I ended up going with eight neutral just because I felt like the medium tones, which is typically where I would go for a self tan, which I have on right now, just looked a little bit deep and I would rather it be a little bit light. So here is the packaging. It's just the standard Mario and then it does have a little, I guess, gap on the side to show the color. You do get one ounce of foundation, which is pretty standard. And then the actual bottle is really nice and weighted, but very simple as well. Now, something I noticed immediately is that there's like little glitter 
glimmer illuminating particles in this foundation, which I don't know, that's not something I see often, but you can very clearly see it. So I'm interested to see if I will notice this on my actual face. So let's go ahead and swatch this shade. It does have a pump. So I feel like this shade is gonna work pretty well might be just a smidge light for my fresh tan. I don't notice a scent other than just the product. And it looks like it has a pretty good coverage as well. Okay, so now that we've gone over all the information, I wanna start on the demo. I usually go in with my primer of choice. I always use a smoothing primer on my pore area, but I wanna start possibly doing that on half of my face to really see what the foundation can do on its own. So I'm gonna go in with my Glowish Blur Jam from Huda Beauty. This is my favorite. And I already did put moisturizer on my skin. I used my Freck, so I will, of course, link everything down below. But I'm going to use this just on half of my face. I'm curious what I'll notice in terms of like wear or smoothness. Okay, so I have the Glowish on this side of my face and I'm going to pump out one pump of the Mario. I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics foundation brush and I'm just going to kind of coat my brush and then go in. So this is supposed to be a medium coverage. I would agree with that. I would say like a lower medium. This shade is a little bit light for my self tan but I just didn't want to go too deep. So, so far I feel like definitely seeing a glow to this, not crazy illuminating, let's say like the Charlotte Tilbury. And it does have a little bit of a thickness to it, meaning that it doesn't spread super easily, but it doesn't feel heavy, if that makes sense. Like it feels like it has a skincare aspect to it, but it doesn't feel thick or heavy, which I really don't like just because I have combo oily skin. Okay, so on the other side, I'm gonna use a beauty blender with another fresh pump. And I wanna see if the coverage is any different. Also, we didn't apply a smoothing primer on this side. So I wanna see if the skin looks more textured. Okay, so this is what the Makeup by Mario foundation looks like applied to both sides of my face. I'm definitely seeing a little bit of that illumination, not necessarily like glitter specks on my skin, but there is sort of this illumination to the foundation that's not just like dew or emollients. It actually does look almost like I applied a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but with way more coverage, if that makes sense. Maybe more like the e.l.f. one, but you know what I mean. There's definitely like this glow to it that's not heavy or emollient. It's more of a lightweight feel, but it still appears to be pretty glowy, and I think it's because of those little particles in the formula. I feel like it does feel lightweight, although it does feel sticky. I would say it's reminding me of maybe the House Labs, but a little bit less glowy and less emollient overall, but it's giving me a similar sort of vibe to that. The formula does feel quite light, which I'm impressed by because a lot of foundations that are very glowy or have sort of that like skincare illuminating hydrating feel to me are very heavy like the Kosas or the Charlotte Tilbury. This one I'm a little worried I feel like it might cling to dryness on my chin or around my mouth. I do also think that I look smoother on the side with the primer but again we really won't know until I set this down. So those are my initial thoughts. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my concealer and I'm just going to use my too Faced. I am curious how powder will play with this because it does specifically say that it plays well with powder and cream products. And a lot of times these more hydrating formulas on my skin personally lift or just transfer and I can't get powders to blend. So I am curious. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set with my Huda Beauty in Pound Cake. And I'm using 
the puff from beauty blender i really want to set heavily like around my nose and mouth just because i feel like that may be the first to sort of like crease or cling or separate look at this powder it's so crazy i love it it just mattifies and smooths everything out I'm gonna go ahead and get the creases out on the other side. And I'm curious how this will set, if my texture will be just as smooth or if that primer will make a difference with this. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like completely set. Everything set really nicely. I have a little bit of, I would say, kind of smearing or not wanting to stick to my nose, which is something I deal with a lot. So I did go in with my Fenty Beauty pressed powder just to set my nose area, give a little bit more coverage. Feeling my face, it does feel hydrated. It doesn't feel like completely dried down matte, but it doesn't feel heavy at all, so it's comfortable. I really can't tell how this is gonna wear just because it really does feel lightweight, but when I do touch my skin, I can definitely tell that it's one of those that's more hydrating. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I will do some more close-ups. We'll talk about how powders go over this, like bronzer, blush, all of that. And then we'll get into our wear tests and I'll do a couple check-ins. Okay guys, so I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. I wanted to shout out this new blush I purchased from Tarte. I haven't heard anyone talk about this, but this is the Amazonian Clay in Energy. And it's kind of like a special edition, just one shade, and it's supposed to do like that adjust to your pH. So I purchased this and I just tried it, and I am loving it. Like, I think this is a hidden gem if you like really pink blushes like the Dior. It goes on really, really like a light pink but I do feel that it sort of adjusts to your skin. So I think this is gonna be a hit. I just wanted to rave about that quickly because you know I'm a blush fanatic. But let's get into what I think about the skin. I have to say that it looks really good. I don't even really notice a difference in terms of my texture from the side that I didn't use the primer to the side that I did. Maybe very slightly, but I do like how smooth and nice the foundation looks just on its own. I also like how lightweight it feels. After I've set it and put all of my product on, all of my powder products blended over this seamlessly. I didn't have any lifting or patching. Coverage, I would say, is a good medium, buildable to maybe like a high medium. It covered everything I needed to cover and I do have redness in my skin and I didn't feel that it accentuated my texture as bad as some other glowy foundations, but I do think this is a natural leaning radiant finish. It's not a full radiant, but it definitely does have a luminosity to it. So I would say finish is natural, but again, because of those little particles in here, it gives it a little bit of a radiance. So, so far I am quite happy with how my skin looks. You guys will have to let me know down below. The shade match I think is going to be good for every day. I have a fresh tan on, so in you know a day or two that will work perfectly for me. So those are my initial thoughts on the new Makeup by Mario foundation. I'm going to go ahead and check in in a few hours and then do another check-in. It is about 10 a.m. at the moment, so I'll try to check in around like 1 o'clock and then maybe try to wear it until like 5, 4 or 5. That way I can get a decent wear test in, but I do want to upload this video. You know how YouTube is. Everything moves quickly and I want to give you my thoughts. I am curious to see if I get oily or if I have breaking apart or if I have clinging. I really don't know. It's hard to tell because I do feel like I look nice and healthy, but I'm unsure if I'm going to be an oil slick in a couple hours or if this will wear well just because it has that lighter feel. So I'm going to go on with my day. I'll see you guys in a few hours and hopefully we're still looking good. All right guys, so I'm back for my first check-in. It is now 1.40, so I did start filming around nine and I completed my makeup about 10. So it's been almost four hours, three and a half hours since I completed my makeup and I feel like everything is looking basically the same. The only thing I'm noticing is a little bit of oil coming through on my chin 
and then more so on the side that I didn't apply the primer, which makes sense because the Huda Beauty primer does help control oil. I do think I look more textured on the side without primer as well, which again, doesn't really surprise me. But other than a little oil coming through, the foundation looks perfect. There's no breaking apart, no transfer, there's no clinging. I thought I was gonna have clinging on my chin area. Now again, I'm only four hours in, so I'll see at my final check-in, but everything is looking pretty great at the moment. So this is my four hour check-in. I feel like everything looks honestly the same other than a little bit of oil coming through. So I am curious to see how this will wear in the coming hours and see if there's a change, but I am pretty impressed at the moment. So I'll see you guys in my next and final check-in. Okay guys, so I'm back for my final check-in. It is now 5.11. I wanted to hit around the five o'clock time because that would mean I applied this at about nine. I really finished my makeup at 10. And so now we're going in to about seven, almost eight hours since I originally applied it. So I feel like I can give you a decent wear test. I wanna get this video posted today, not too late. But here are my thoughts, very similar to what I said in my last check-in. I definitely think that the primer I'm wearing is helping with longevity and keeping oils at bay, keeping my skin looking smooth. I am seeing more wear on the side that I did not apply a primer. So I do wanna try to do that moving forward half and half just so I can show you guys the difference. I am noticing my textures just looking more enhanced on the side without primer. And then a little bit of wear on my jawline area, probably from just like resting my hands. I was editing this video, so it could be just, you know, resting my chin on my hand. That's kind of a habit that I have or talking on the phone. I took a call earlier. Other than that, I feel like this wears pretty well considering that it's a more luminous, hydrating foundation. I am curious, just because I see quite a bit of a difference, what this foundation would be capable of with my primer and then also a really good setting spray like the Charlotte Tilbury or something like that. So I don't wanna rule this out for those of you that have combo oily skin. I think it just may need to be paired with a mattifying primer, really setting it heavily and then going in with a setting spray to lock it in. I do like that it feels lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy like I wanted to take it off all day and I feel that with a lot of these really hydrating foundations. So I'd love to know your thoughts down below on how this wore. I will continue to test this foundation out with different primers and different setting sprays and let you guys know my updated thoughts. I'll probably throw it in a couple other trying new makeup videos because I have a ton of other stuff to try, but I think the color match I got was really great. And overall, I like it more than I thought I would. I really thought that I was just going to have a horrible experience, but I really like the way my skin is looking specifically on this this side. And I know a lot of you already have this foundation or you ordered it, so I would love to know your feedback so far, if it's working for you or if you're not liking it. And if you have similar skin to me and it's not working for you, highly recommend using one of the primers that I have recommended, like the Hourglass would be great because it has oil control or the Glowish from Huda Beauty. So I will link this down below as well as everything else that I'm wearing in my description box. I'm super happy to be back to filming. It feels so good. I feel like my mind is, you know, cleared and I feel ready and energized and just excited to play with new makeup and just chat with you guys. So I have a lot of new makeup videos coming, drugstore and high end. I'm waiting on a couple packages to come in as usual. But if there's anything new you want me to review, let me know in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and thank you for allowing me to take a break and just regroup. I appreciate you guys so much. So if you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.